Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Bring you guys today one of my favorite gameplays that I've gotten on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And the reason being is because one is 120 kills solo using non-lethal kill streaks on the map Biolab with the BAL27. Now the map Biolab isn't one of my favorite maps in the game. I know a lot of people do like this map, but me personally, you know, it's just I don't know, there was just something about this map, just the way it like looked and all the stupid like little like orange tubes that fly around and always kill me. So um, it is a good map, but however, it's not one of my favorite maps. So uh, the fact that I was able to get 120 kills on this map kind of surprised me and uh, not using lethal kill streaks either. Um, I didn't really expect to get either. So uh, what non-lethal kill streaks are versus lethal kill streaks is lethal kill streaks is something like um, a stealth bomber or a warbird or something like that that a kill streak that can actually help you uh, get more kills or get more kills for you but a non-lethal kill streak is something like a UAV or a system hack that um, doesn't get you kills but can kind of assist you in getting kills so uh, obviously if you use something like the stealth bomber or warbird or something like that it can help you get more kills because you just all you have to do is hit, hit right on the d-pad and then you have that big thing flying over the map dropping bombs literally helping you get more kills so uh, that obviously makes it a lot easier and having things like the uav or system hack just kind of makes it easier for you to get gun kills um versus then you know just kill streaks just flying over the map but like i said biolab isn't one of my favorite maps but definitely uh, momentum is probably the best game type for getting a lot of kills in just because in momentum um you know with all the flags kind of moving like further and closer to people's spawns it's a lot easier uh, to predict where the enemies are going to be and kind of get behind them and get a bunch of multi kills and things like that so if you ever want to go for like 100 plus kills or dna bomb or anything like that really momentum is going to be the best game type to play but however i would recommend maybe playing in a few man party like two or three people other people in your party because playing solo momentum uh, is extremely difficult because it is extremely rare that you'll get into a lobby where all your teammates won't end the game because i've been in some momentum games where the games have literally ended in like a minute or even under a minute so um, if you definitely, if you just get get a few teammates in your party, it can really help you out a lot. It can make the game go out like the full like 13 minutes that momentum games can go. So that makes it a lot easier to get a lot of kills um, versus your teammates just ending the game in like one minute. Because no one, no one's gonna get a DNA bomb in a minute, um, and no one's sure as hell not gonna get a hundred plus uh, in one minute. So that's a lot harder. So. Uh, if you, momentum is probably the best game type to play for DNA bombs and stuff like that. So if you guys really haven't gotten your first DNA bomb, um, you're having a hard time, you're always getting shot in the back, you can't find a good class set or something like that, uh, just throw in the BAL, hop in some momentum with a few like friends in your party or something or other, and just try and get the game to go as long as possible, and I can guarantee you have a lot more fun in that game type uh, versus something as like Domination or Team Deathmatch going for uh, DNAs because you tend to get shot in the back uh, most of the time. So... Uh, momentum is definitely one of my favorite game types. I play it a lot. And let me know what game type your guys' is a favorite uh, for going for DNAs or 100 pluses, whatever it be, down in the comment section below. But recently on the Xbox 360, which is one of the consoles that I play the most, they nerfed the BAL 27. Now, if you've been playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare since the game was released, you will know that like the only gun anybody uses is the BAL 27. And everyone has just been complaining about the about that gun they've been calling it like battle of duty advanced warfare and stuff like that so uh, the gun has been extremely overused ever since the game was released and now that sledgehammer has kind of realized that and kind of you know gotten a feel for how everyone feels about their game uh they they nerfed it on the xbox 360 so what they did was they like tripled the amount of recoil that the gun has so if you put grip on the gun um, it acts like it doesn't have grip on it before the patch and if you take grip off if you shoot like five bullets where you normally be looking straight your gun will be like like a foot and a half like more in the air than you want it to be initially so uh, they added a lot more recoil to the gun and the gun is essentially not the best gun in the game anymore me personally I enjoy the AK-12 a lot more than the BAL-27 now um, and the AK-12 is probably the best weapon in the game at least in my opinion so go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know what gun you like in the game the most. Since the BAL probably isn't the most used weapon anymore, uh, at least on the Xbox 360. So go ahead, drop a comment down below, letting me know what your favorite weapon is other than the BAL 27. So I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Go ahead and subscribe for more Advanced Warfare content. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a comment down below. Um, and also, hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving today. Uh, that you guys are watching this video it was Thanksgiving, so I hope you guys do all enjoy that. You know, go out, spend the day with your family, uh, whoever you spend it with, and enjoy some turkey. So I'll see you guys in another video. Have a fantastic Thanksgiving, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.